So that is the rough layer of a cob floor. Jackie did this layer and it came out really nice and level, but it is not the finished floor. There will be another approximately half inch layer to bring it level with this um, floor divider log that I flattened. Um, and that will be a sand and clay and manure mixture, pretty similar to what's used on the walls. We used a bit less fiber in the, which is the manure provides the fiber for the finished plaster, um, which is what we did on this cob floor down there, which does have its finish layer. Um, and this one is also a bit experimental in the sense that in this one cell, we didn't use any plastic for a vapor barrier. The other ones have, um, reused plastic tarps, uh, billboard tarps that Fred scavenged in order to partially to provide a vapor barrier, partially just so that like the cob didn't all squash down into the gravel and become really hard to work with. Um, but on this one we laid out boards and worked that way so that we could do a plastic free floor and see how that turns out. Hopefully the Wofati design will shed water away from the house well enough that a vapor barrier won't be necessary in the floor. We gave this one, I gave it 18 coats of linseed oil um, before it, well, our goal based on the Earth and Floors book was more or less until the oil starts pooling and stops being absorbed. And it was more like after 18 coats, I ran out of oil and gave up. Um, <laughs> It didn't ever really stop absorbing for a very significant period of time. And now it seems quite saturated and as if there's still a bit of oiliness to the surface. You can see there's a bit of scattered sand as well. Um, some of that was rubbed out of the finish layer by the process of oiling it just from the brush strokes. Um, and the areas where Fred had burnished it well with the finish float um, did not shed as much sand. That was one thing we learned. Um, so we're not quite sure if this is the final state of the floor, but we decided it was good enough to put furniture on as long as the furniture was on blocks and it stands up perfectly well to being walked on. We don't know if it will later lighten like the linseed oil and sand floor did, or if it will become more obviously polymerized, or what will happen. This is a floor that Paul thinks he once heard about somewhere from someone that possibly might exist in Japan. Um, so it's essentially sand and linseed oil mixed together, leveled and tamped down. Um, as opposed to the cob floors that we did in the other rooms. And so there is some clay in our sand, which is true of more or less all sand everywhere, unless you buy it specifically like washed from a supply source. But if you dig it yourself, it's got some clay in it. Um, and so we did several layers of the oil and sand mixture, just lightly oiled and the oil raked in leveled and tamped down, and then we did a finish layer in which we actually mixed the a significantly higher proportion of linseed oil with the sand in buckets um, and water actually, so it was quite a bit wetter and easier to level and burnish in order to create a nicer finish and a more level surface. Um, and it is entirely experimental. We don't know how well it will hold up compared to the cob floors or compared to, you know, other earthen floors that people build. We more or less just made it up based on some stuff Paul thinks he heard once. Um, and it seems to be holding up relatively well. Um, I've moved this large chest refrigerator from a couple of different places and it hasn't gouged anything out. <laughs> we did have um, a few grains sprout from some of the straw that we had around, which created irregularities in the floor. Um, we also had some mice come eat the linseed oil at one point, and it had to be redone. Uh, so it, it was a work in progress for a while, 
but now it seems to be holding up rather well. It has um, a few final coats of linseed oil as well um, to create a hard and hopefully semi-waterproof surface so that it can be mopped. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about natural building, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. <laughs>